Let there be videos. This is sure one sweet sounding guitar, folks. Uh, my apologies for my crappy playing. Like I say, I haven't been practicing at all. Uh, haven't been uh, since I broke my toe two, three weeks ago, however long it's been. You know, the only practicing that I have did is what you guys have seen. So I'd bring it back one more time, show it one more time. I finally got it up to uh, 440. And it is hot in here, too. Today's Saturday. I'm gonna, planning on sending this old girl home Monday. Now, I don't know when you all see these videos, but uh, that's the plan. I got it up to pitch, what, two, three days ago. I had to take a key winder and put on here and use it like a wrench, man, to crank those keys up. It was uh, hilarious. It was horrendous. I like to never got them to turn enough to get it up to 440, but listen to the sound of that thing. is huge on it. I can't play it very well. But uh, it does chord easy. The uh, owner wanted me to set the accent at the 12th fret. What did he say? 2.5 millimeters on the bass string and 2 millimeters on the high E string. And that's where it's set right now. That's a little bit higher than I like myself. But uh, Hard to believe a little guitar like this, a small body and short scale, has so much of a bassy, boxy, punchy tone and sound to it. Uh, I'm going to show it one more time. 
and show that it is up to pitch and it is holding together the neck joint there if you can see it is very secure it has not moved one single bit I mean uh, like Steve Harris said when you do a neck reset and uh, once you get it up to 440 that's when if you're going to see problems you're going to see them shortly after that every time <laughs> and it's been I think three days now uh, tomorrow will be four days Monday will be the fifth day well, I might keep it a little bit longer than Monday but I definitely want to get it back in the mail and head it back to the owner uh, this upcoming week but I want to come back show it to you one more time play it a little bit and uh, just uh, talk about the, the journey we've been through with it wow everything is wrong with this guitar hey you know what I'm not going to go into all the trouble showing you I showed you if you measure from here to here is different than it is from here to here. I can't remember the measurements. can't remember too good. And I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, if you measure from here to the side, straight out with the bridge, you remember I showed you in the other videos, it's different from it is from here to here. The bridge is offset either this way or that way. I can't remember which. I worked on a lot of guitars today. And one of those was kind of funky. Anyways, I showed you those measurements and, and since then, I measured from the same corner of the bridge straight back uh, to the back back here, the bottom, the lower bout on both sides. I thought, the, I thought the, the bridge looked like it was turned that way. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not. Get the light out of it, maybe. Oh, maybe it's better with the glow glare in it. Anyways, the bridge is turned... I think it was that way. It might have been this way, but it's what I did. Like I say, I measured from the rear corners here straight back this way, and you guessed it. It was one quarter inch difference, whichever way it was. It was. I think it was turned that way. It was one quarter inch more on this side of the bridge than it was on this side of it. Weird. This guitar has got all kinds of shit going on, man. Uh. I won't go into detail about what the money that the owner put into this guitar. It was uh, quite a lot. Definitely, obviously, some sentimental value in this to him. Anyways, uh, I dropped the price uh, way, way down. I think I knocked like $260, I think, without, have, without looking. I think that's what it was. I just said, you know, dude... We're both taking a loss on this. I mean, we are both, you know, are disappointed because of the way things turned out. The next set is perfect. It's in line with a crooked bridge. Uh, you know, what are you going to do, man? It's done. I guess from now on, I'll have to start checking the bridge and make sure that the bridge is centered, you know, especially on homemade, uh, you know, guitars that are not a name brand. Of course, this was a, a Harmony, but this top was made from a barn door I think that's what he told me and uh, the owner I don't know if I mentioned this or not but he already sanded and shaved the bridge down to expose more saddle so he could lower the saddle to get the action down he already did that so you know it's had that done to it as well as all the things you watched me do to it and it's just a shame man that an old guitar that sounds this good And the intonation you can hear it's off a little bit but it's not very much it's not bad it's not the, it's worse you know when you get down in here, you hardly notice the intonation being out a little bit at all, playing uh, cowboy chords. Anyways, I can't play it, but I wanted to bring it back one more time, show you guys, and tell you that I got it up to standard tuning without breaking any keys. Uh, you can see the lube still on those keys. I oiled the shit out of these keys. And uh, I don't know, man. I took them off and tried to clean them. 
I think you can see the oil in the on the keys itself. I don't know if the camera's getting or not. Don't have any glasses on. Can't see shit. You know how it is when you get old. Hands don't work anymore. But uh, they loosened up a little bit, but not very much. I mean, my God, man. I wish I could find that tuner I used. I just put a tuner uh, crank on there and got a hold of the crank and, you know, used the crank as a wrench, basically, and forced the keys to go up until I got, you know, up to 440. Uh, the owner tells me that this is not the first guitar. He bought another guitar off of the guy that built this one. I think that's what he said. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not knocking the guy's work. Actually, he did a beautiful job, but I'd be very careful about resetting the neck on that. If you ever have to, measure the bridge. Make sure the bridge, make sure everything, the strap button plug back here, the bridge, make sure everything's center. You know, this guitar is so far off. Everything is so fucked up about it. It's unbelievable, baby, that it plays as good as it does. <laughs> There it is, it's a done deal, and we did the best we could do with what we had. It is what it is, you know what I mean? So, uh, anyways, there you go. I wanted you to hear it up at 440. It sounds wonderful, man. It is a wonderful sounding guitar. It's just a shame it's got all that crap wrong with it. But, it is what it is, like I say. And uh, he had mentioned pulling all these little brass frets out. And replacing them, but you know, he's gonna have a fortune in it if we do all that stuff. I'll do it. I mean, you know, I don't care to do the work, but I don't know. It is what it is. What can you say? I gotta go get a sweat rag, man. It's like, uh, it was like 86 degrees here today, Saturday. Like I said, I don't know when you'll see this, but it was 86 today. Right now, it's still in the 70s, and it's freaking midnight or some crap. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Gibson videos or not yet. Bad news with that guitar. If you have not seen them, go check them out. Check out all my old videos. Uh, it'll answer a lot of your questions. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I will see you again soon. Holy shit, it's hot in here.